I'm John Labed, and I run Labed.biz, and we specialize in discovering undervalued stocks with huge upside potential. When I was about 14 years old, CNBC launched their first ever student stock tournament. Out of 4,000 teams in the entire nation, I was one of the top five finalists. After that, I just knew that stocks were my thing, and that's what I would dedicate my life to. I've been working extremely hard my entire life. Since a young age, I, I wouldn't even pay attention in school. I would just spend my days researching stocks on the internet. And even today, I'm working at least 12 hours a day researching companies that are undervalued based on their fundamentals. I review all their balance sheets, all their SEC filings, all their press releases. And I do as much due diligence on these companies as I possibly can based on everything I learned over the past 13 years. I basically just try to find the stocks that are going to be in play that have the most upside and the least downside risk and bring these picks to my members on a weekly basis. Years ago, I received a lot of media attention. I was on the cover of New York Times Magazine and Time Magazine and on 60 Minutes and there was a book that was written about me, Next the Future Just Happened by Michael Lewis and from there on I was contacted by thousands of investors around the world looking to receive information on the stocks that I like. In February of 2003, I launched my website, labed.biz. My second ever pick was a company called Essex Corporation. I profiled it as a long-term strong buy, and I said I was more confident about it than any other stock I'll ever have on my website. And I profiled Essex Corporation at $3.30, and a couple years later, it was acquired by Northward Grumman for $24 per share. Since the year 2006, I've been warning uh, my members about a housing bubble, and I was calling for the demise of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And at the beginning of 2008, I suggested to them two different Fannie Mae put options, two different Freddie Mac put options, and I predicted with both Fannie and Freddie trading above $30 a share that they would crash to below $15 a share in the upcoming months. And not only did they do that, but they crashed to pennies per share and the put options that I suggested in them gained by hundreds of percent. After the collapse of Bear Stearns, I predicted that Lehman Brothers would be the next company to collapse, and I basically guaranteed to them that Lehman Brothers would crash into the ground. One of the put options gained by over 300 percent, and the other one gained by 698 percent. One of my biggest recent winners was a company called Gulf Resources, and in December of 2008, I basically called it one of my biggest discoveries of all time and I said that I never tell you to buy any stock but if there's anything that I strongly suggest that you consider buying this is it right here and I profiled it at 88 cents a share it opened the next day at a dollar 36 and in 2010 it hit a high of 14.94 per share that's a gain of over 1500 percent from my profile price another recent pick of mine was Agria Corporation which made a gain at its high by 175 percent I profiled Sino Gas at 42 cents a share, and by the end of the year, it reached $1.39 per share for a gain of over 230%. And one of my picks last year, Royal Energy, gained 93% in two days after my profile. It made the top 10 list for the biggest percentage gainers on the NASDAQ two days in a row after my profile. And one of my recent silver picks was a company, Coraline Mines. I also brought to my members Endeavor Silver, William Monarch Mining, Origin Agritech, Ocean Power Technology. If you'd like to become a member of Labed.biz, just visit my website and enter email address, and you'll start receiving alerts from me every day. The biggest thrill in the world for me is discovering huge winners for my members. It makes me more happy than anything else in the world.